Good day. Chief here for our Chief Coffee Chats. Got my cup of coffee. Yes, I've been gone. I've had computer problems, and plus I keep forgetting about Sunday. I will go to bed on Sunday night, and I'm like, ah, I forgot to shoot a video again, and I forget about it on Monday. I'm going to ramble today like I usually do because I don't have anything specifically that I think I can talk about long enough. No, I have not moved over to Rumble. I'm still contemplating it. And the more I think about it, the more that I sh probably should go over there because from what I understand, it's a Canadian company and it's there for free speech. You, YouTube no longer wants that. They've got so many restrictions. We're trying to protect children, but we got people, <clears throat> yeah, they say they weren't coming for them, and then I just saw a video where a hundred of them were singing the song that were coming for your children. They were all males. That's all I'm going to say about that. I'm the person that's telling a lot of people to go over to Rumble to watch his content. He's now banded for, oh, three or four weeks probably because... He had a person of controversy host his show one day while he was sick. So you basically know who I'm talking about. Uh, but when he first said everybody go over to Rumble, a lot of people did and they were crashing the servers because Rumble could not handle that many people watching one show. So that's another reason why I haven't moved over there yet because it looks like they don't have the as I would call it, a bandwidth to host a lot of people. Not that I have a lot of people, nor do I do a live show. Uh, man, another thing I want to talk about is I'm still still up in the air about those guys. You know, don't get married, don't lose half your stuff, don't raise somebody else's kids. Now, when I became a warrant officer, throughout my period of time, which was over 12 years of being a warrant officer, I saw four men who said, damn the torpedoes, full speed ahead, I'm going to marry that woman, I love her, and I don't care, she's got kids. And as I said on my military, Chief, uh, Chief Tells Tells, I re-enlisted a female who outright told me, says, Chief, I've got four kids already, I'm not marrying again, I'm not looking for love. She was more concerned. Plus, she was having troubles with her divorce. Uh, maybe I'll talk about that later on. But, like I said, and but according to the guys that I watch, you know, don't, don't, don't get married. Don't, don't lose half your stuff. Uh, one of those guys has guests from other similar channels like himself, and I watched one of the videos of one of his guests. He appears to be in his mid-30s. I could be wrong. I don't know. He's, I don't think I've ever heard him say his age. And he was busy talking because, you know, he was watching the crazy lady TikToks. And, and of course, you know, some of the other TikToks of people being stopped in the street. And then every time a man agrees with a woman, he, oh, that guy's a simp. That guy's a simp. He's giving in. He shouldn't do that. And then he piped up during this video that I watched that he has a 22-year-old girlfriend. And he said something. I don't remember exactly what it was, but it kind of kind of struck me as, boy, you sound controlling. Because he said he would not put up with some of that behavior with his girlfriend. You know, he wouldn't, he wouldn't be a simp for her. So, in other words, he wants to control this younger woman. I could be wrong, maybe that's what she wants. Uh, but like I said, I've known four men, and I'm a simp. I've been married twice, but I never married a woman and had kids. <laughs> I've only married women where I produce kids with them. I know it's kind of funny. And me being on both sides of the issue of paying child support and receiving child support, a lot of times they, they are correct. Child support is not for the child, it's for the other parent, as far as I can tell. Now, I, I haven't had any experience, but my experience with it was, is 
I was paying child support and receiving child support at the same time, and I was earning 20 bucks. <laughs> I was earning 20 bucks. And my, the wife, <coughs> excuse me, the second wife, the one that was paying me child support, got out of the military, and by Hawaii state law, she had to pay a minimum of 50 bucks per child per month. Back then, that was a trip to the grocery store. And that's what I said. 100 bucks is a trip to the grocery store to feed them for a week. I wasn't... But then, at that time, was when I became a warrant officer, too. So after a while, that 100 bucks went into bank accounts for the kids. And... Um, yeah. So, I don't know how to fix, but you know, you hear about these movie stars and very famous people, and they're demanding like fifty thousand dollars for their one child because what kind of lifestyle is a kid having to spend fifty thousand dollars a month? Those are those are just ridiculous. You know, that's all going to the woman. Well, she'll dress the kid, she'll feed the kid, but, you know, the other share of that is. And then I lost custody, so I had to turn around and pay my second wife, who was paying me previously. I lost custody of my kids for, like, the last three, four years of their child support age. And state law here in Texas is 25% of my salary. No ifs, ands, or buts for the first child. Uh, I was paying a good chunk. So my second wife, who paid me child support, literally got all her money back in one year. Everything she paid to me, she got back in one year. So for the next two or three years, she was receiving a good chunk of change. That's all I'm going to say about that. So I talked about that. And what, what bothers me is, you know, all the reporting. Now everybody that reports on the war overseas or over in Ukraine, they're using their telegraph channels to show the videos that they can't show on YouTube. But I noticed some of the big time news stations that I do watch, they'll show the video in full because they aren't worried about receiving any monetary incent or incentives to show that video. So I, I think YouTube is in a mental dilemma right now. Yeah, we're for freedom of speech, but we don't want to do anything harmful to children. But yet they can watch it on TV. Yet they can watch it on Netflix. Yet they can watch it on Disney. Yet they can watch it on the regular television set. Yet they can watch it on Rumble. So are they really protecting anybody? Like I said, they, because back in the day when they first started YouTube, it was for people to create, people to share, people to have the freedom to do what they want to do. Now, I understand a lot of people did curse. I don't listen to those channels. I've been told that I'm old because, well, that's the way this generation speaks. We use the F word a lot. I don't hear it out in public. I don't need to hear it on your YouTube channel. I'll shut you. I'll just won't watch you anymore. And I've quit a couple YouTube channels that I used to watch because all of a sudden they were using the f-bomb quite frequently And I protested one time and the guy said well, that's how our generation speaks and I said well They claim that they're a family channel and, they, and he said no they didn't and the following two weeks one of the per people on the YouTube channel came out and said well we are a family station when somebody <clears throat> dropped another derogatory word. <clears throat> like I said, I'm rambling. Uh, 
I'm also still a little bit upset that the war over in Ukraine is the war I trained for. And what I mean by that, I joined the Army back in the mid-80s. USSR was our opponent. We were so scared of those guys because back then we had, what, two corps up to like three, four, five divisions stationed in Germany. And then over the years we got down to like one or two. And I think there's only like one or maybe a couple brigades. I don't know what it is anymore. And we pulled in only one corps and one army sitting over there because you got to have an army command for the army. And we were just so scared throughout the 80s until the wall fell down because, you know, the, the Russian tanks were just going to pour through the Fulda Gap in Germany and they would be in France before any of the stateside divisions could get over to help block the Soviet push. And they we were basically told all the U.S. Army divisions that we had over in over in Germany to block the Soviet defense were, were speed bumps. They were just going to get overrun by all these by all these tanks. And then the wall fell down. And then we found out the poor quality of the Soviet army. After less than what probably two months of fighting and last year of 2022, February and March, we saw the same situation with the Russian army compared to the Soviet army. The corruption and the poor quality of the training of the soldiers. Yes, they got lots of soldiers. They don't anymore, not trained ones. So I'm a little upset I didn't get to fight that fight. I really am. I'd love to go over and just be a driver at my age. It's probably about the only thing they'd let me do is be a driver. I would, wouldn't mind driving. Well, that's it for this cheap coffee chats. Maybe I'll concentrate on something next week instead of rambling. Who knows? But it's Memorial Day weekend. My, I went to the base today to buy groceries and they're like, are you going to come tomorrow morning? And I'm like, why? What's going on tomorrow morning at the commissary? Oh, we're going to have a party to celebrate. I go, it's Memorial Day. It's not a day of celebration. It's a day of mourning. It's a day of respect. It's a day to honor. And I wish that we would go back to celebrating the holidays on the holidays. I remember as a kid watching the Indy 500 on Memorial Day. That's just me. We need to go back to celebrating our holidays on, our, on the days that they're supposed to be. But that's just me. So this is Chief. Freedom's not free. Take care of one another. Have a good Memorial Day. Respect, honor, remember veterans in your family, veterans who have paid the ultimate price, and veterans who paid the ultimate price with old age. We all fought. I went to my little war. Didn't shoot a bullet in anger. So, freedom's not free. Chief out.